Hey guys, it's Vinny Lambo here, and we're going to be testing out the Smart Summon on a Tesla Model X P100D. Ludicrous. And as you can see, it is pretty close right now, but if we zoom out, you can actually tell that we are really, really far away. So we're about to summon it, and let's see how it works. So basically, Tesla's Smart Summon works by using the Google Maps data the car has and its satellite view of an area to map a driving route to get the location within a geofenced area. You can either have it go to a location inside its geofenced circle or have it come to the location of a device that's controlling the Smart Summon. The car then uses the eight onboard cameras and full self-driving autopilot, the uh, $10,000 option you can purchase after the fact or while you're building the car to detect intersections, stop signs, pedestrians, and curbs to navigate its way to the location you set. The car will then do things like a normal human being will do, like using turn signals, or trying to be as natural in parking lots or in areas as possible. The Smart Summon feature in the 2021.4.15 update is currently limited to 6 mile an hour top speed. The app will now show the current speed and drive selector gear on the app and what it's doing. For example, waiting for a pedestrian or slowing at an intersection. So you guys just saw the come to me function. Now is going to be the function where you can select a spot within the circle range and the car will actually drive itself to that spot. So here we go. Even though it seems a little overkill, this uh, go to a certain point function can actually be pretty useful depending on the situation. Uh, if you have to go pick up a friend on the other side of the parking lot, or if you're just trying to scare someone, uh, having this car pull up to a certain location with no driver is definitely a different experience. So, like I said before, this feature is still pretty much in its like baby form. Uh, once the full self-driving beta and full release comes out later this year, uh, it's supposed to be a lot more polished, but as you guys can see, uh, the car kind of has to like do like a three-point turn just to turn in a parking lot. Obviously, uh, like a human wouldn't have to do that, but I guess Tesla's calculations uh, when it's trying to do this are not 100% accurate yet. Um, again, that's why it's in its beginning stages, but Again, it's really cool to see that it can go all this length by itself. Eventually, a feature called Reverse Smart Summon will be released where you can exit your car at the front of the store and the car will actually drive away and go into a park seeking mode where it will drive around the parking lot and find an open parking spot and park there. So as you guys could see there, uh, the both functions are really cool. Um, some of it looks like it's a real human driving, but other stuff like cutting across the parking spots or making really wide turns and reversing, uh, it's still in like its beginning stages. So obviously over time uh, it will improve. But right now is actually the third secret function. Uh, it's a Easter egg within the app and it's called uh, Smart Race. And basically it just uh, races by itself. So as you guys will see right here, that's what it's gonna do. Okay. Well, that's gonna be the end of this video. Uh, this is a little bit different. I haven't really done anything like this. I guess this is under the category of like VL car, uh, the first of its type, and hopefully we have many more to come. But yeah, uh, expect uh, more traditional Vinny Lambo content in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.